Okay, so I haven't done too many headsets yet, and uh, I'm gonna start trying to get into that because that is important to some people. Well, maybe not everybody, to some people it is. And of course, I'm budget oriented. So when I see a big company like MSI, and I, I'm totally going bald for you guys here tonight without my fancy hat, but when I see a company like MSI, I always expect good and great products from them, and I have no problem talking about how amazing they are, but they really let me down in this market. Now, I got these, uh, I don't even think they have an actual code name for this, it's just the model is DS501, and when I picked them up, I think they were like $28, and I left them a bad review, and we'll go into that a little bit. I left them a bad review because I got two of them, and they both had the same problem, which led me to believe that I wasn't just a defective pair, it may be a lot of defective pairs, but, uh, you know, it was really a letdown because you, you read the specifications and you see the name MSI, Microstar International, and you think, well, that's going to be good. It's MSI. MSI doesn't make bad, which in any other circumstance, I absolutely uh, stand behind that. I buy their motherboards. I buy their graphics cards, and I've got the little badge of honor saying I buy that stuff just laying in piles all over the place because I do. I love MSI. Even this computer right here has got an MSI motherboard in it. And uh, they just really do make quality products. So I want to start by saying this isn't a bash on MSI. If you've ever used MSI, you know they're probably pretty good. If you've had a bad experience with them, give them another shot. Because I wouldn't use this to blacklist anything that they have. But uh, this headset right here was uh, sold me on its $28 price. I thought, you know, for $28 I can understand that I'm not just buying a cheap piece of crap on eBay hoping for it to maybe work. And that's exactly what this did. It felt like a cheap piece of crap from eBay that just really didn't work and um, both of them both of them for that matter I was thinking man it's be really cool it's got this adjustable radio uh, microphone and you can move it around and it's got kind of a flex to it even though not that great and it's got this head thing for ergonomics which it's not very comfortable at all uh, this was I'll pull this back and it's just like an elastic string like a covered plastic elastic string but uh, going right into it I put it on and the ergonomic design that it allegedly has is uh, no, because I can feel it clamping at the bottom of my skull just below the ears and then it just feels like kind of open right here and I can't adjust that in any way. And that was kind of a strike for me because you can't move these pieces right here to do anything either. And this was problem one, is pull it out, put it on, and I was like, wow, this is really uncomfortable and it's not the prettiest, most stylish gaming headset you've ever seen. It's also not the... Uh, the uh, most amazing. I think I got some something here that I wanted to read, but I don't know what it was now. Boo! It does. Wherever I hit it, at. oh, there it is. It does have this so that you can uh, turn the mic on and off and adjust volume control right here. Now that being said, that's when it works. The cable itself is nothing spectacular. Just kind of like a regular coated, you know, rubbery cable kind of feels softer than most of them would anyways. I would have liked to seen braided, but that, that wouldn't have saved this product for me anyways. Because the number one problem with this product was, uh, I don't know if you've ever worn like a headset that's going bad or something that's defective in, in this range where you're wearing it and then you turn your head at something and you hear the kind of crackle on one of the speakers or one of the, uh, one of the speakers you know, cuts out and you think, well, that was weird, and then you kind of sit there and you try to hold still and you move cables around until it comes back and it's just essentially a, a short somewhere in there. I said, well, that was weird, so I got the other one out of the box and I put it on and I had the same problem, and I, uh, I contacted them aside, which was good of them because they, they, they always make good and they were apologetic and they were responsive and receptive to feedback, which is a, a big deal for me when dealing with a company like that. But that was just disappointing. So when it comes to the budget world and you see that you want to get something that you hope is good for a low price and I know I said I got them for like twenty something dollars for whatever reason the price is up to like thirty dollars thirty five dollars and uh, I'm the only review on Newegg that I know of because I went and checked it out because I couldn't remember if these were actually called something and I went and looked it up and I was like wow I'm still the only one that's given this any kind of review so it, it looks terrible on there and I feel bad for him for that but at the same time I would not recommend buying this product right here when you can get competitive good stuff from other companies you might not know of, uh, like Gambia's here, it's their EB2 headset. It's actually a really good headset, it's, it's similar in design, but this is a lot more comfortable on the head when I need something like that. It also has the same kind of stuff I lost wherever that part goes because I only use it to listen playback now. I'm not a headset wearer myself when I game or do anything like that, so, you know, I might not be the best to go to source, but 
This thing is just kind of crappy and a letdown, and I was really surprised that MSI let something like this go out. These rubber pads are not comfortable, not, not in the least bit. The whole construction of it feels cheap, it looks cheap, it's just kind of meh. And you know, one thing I didn't do was I didn't go on TeamSpeak Ventrilo or Mumble and test a microphone with people to see if that works because I pretty much gave up after I realized that somewhere in here there's connection loss issues and the sound just went out completely. And I was like, well, even if I said hello, hello, and then I did something to make the sound go out, I wouldn't know if they heard me anyways. So, you know, make good, reasonable choices. And uh, this is something that would have fooled anybody because if you know anything about MSI, you know they're a good company. And I think anybody would have been like for 20 something dollars, yeah, I'm going to pick that up. And I wouldn't blame them. That's what I thought. That's what I did. And I said, wow, that's cool. They got something in the budget range for a gaming headset. Let's give it a shot. Let's try it out. And just kind of fell short. Sorry, guys. I can't say anything good about this. But uh, you can go check it out on Newegg if you want and try to pick one up yourself and give it a shot. I don't know why anybody would if you watched this video and you heard my opinion on trying two of these and having the exact same problem with both of these that you would feel the need to go pick it up. That's on you if you do. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I, I don't anticipate many of my not that many followers to go check it out and buy it based off of this, but if you do, great. Let me know if you've had a better experience with it. Otherwise, uh, if you've ever dealt with MSI before, then hopefully you know that they're pretty good. And uh, we'll wrap that up here because there's, there's not much to say about this. You can probably go to eBay and throw a little less dollar out and probably get a, something from a more up and coming company that just doesn't have the footing or, or what have you, but MSI, you let me down with this one. and. Uh, I just want to recant one more time that MSI doesn't usually ever let me down, so keep that in mind. I'm not saying they're bad. They're an amazing company. I love MSI products, just not this time. All right, guys, get subscribed if you're not subscribed, and you know, like, hate, whatever you want to do. And I'm gonna stop it.